Hello everyone, I'm Riley Chamberlain with the Weatherford Daily News and today we are sitting with Marla Pancras and Caroline Jackson. And there is an event coming up at Swasu called the Leadership Symposium and these two are involved in that. So could you guys tell us a little bit about your roles in the symposium? Absolutely. Uh, the symposium, Leadership Symposium is put on by the Oklahoma Association for the Education of Young Children, so OKEYC for short, and uh, it's a leadership symposium for childcare leaders, um, leaders in the early childhood field in, what, in the whole state of Oklahoma, but especially we want to reach out to our Western Oklahoma partners who maybe um, have not been to an OKEYC event um, to um, just really inspire and motivate leaders through this event. Ms. Caroline here is one of our panel speakers, um, which is kind of our keynote presentation is a panel of experts because she really is an expert <laughs> in the area of early childhood. So, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Well, and, and first of all, I'm just delighted that Oklahoma, the Oklahoma Association of Early Childhood Educators are going to have an event in Western Oklahoma because so many times uh, it's been in Oklahoma City, then past to Tulsa, then back to Oklahoma City. So we're really excited that it's going to be in Western Oklahoma and we really hope early childhood uh, caregivers, uh, professionals in the field, DHS licensing, there's just so many um, parts of the early childhood field that um, are hoping we can get involved in this leadership symposium. And so we're delighted that Marla especially is on the board and she, she is encouraging this meeting to happen in Southwestern. So um, the panel is, is uh, I say, is uh, spearheaded by uh, Ruth Ann Ball, who is uh, truly a outstanding woman in Oklahoma, has been for a long time. And she just imparts much, much wisdom. She um, was an officer in the entire United States early childhood field in our organization. Um, she's traveled widely. Um, she has much, much wisdom. And so she's such an advocate for calling out new leaders. And that's what our field really needs now. I think a lot of us, um, <laughs> Well, I call myself an old dinosaur. Some of us that have been doing it for many, many years are excited and ready to pass the torch on and encourage uh, a, a new generation of early childhood professionals who are passionate about, about what they are doing for caregivers in the field as well as for the children. Obviously the children first, but the other people that, that are, are making a difference. And, um, we need people to really get involved and have a passion and see, I always think it's important to see things that are doing well and join that and, and see who are the movers and shakers and who are the policy makers. And I, down through my uh, career, I found those people and found a way to get on certain committees at the state level, whatever. Uh, we just have to let our voice be heard for young Absolutely. children Absolutely. Uh, all across the state, all across the nation, but we want to start with Western Oklahoma. Mm -hmm. Absolutely. How have you seen the OKAEYC, -E mm -hmm. how have you seen that kind of impact um, leaders or aspiring leaders in Oklahoma? So I'm finishing my first year on the board, so I've, I've actually learned a lot myself being part of of the board for the Oklahoma chapter. In the state of Oklahoma, we have 700 and a little over 700 members of the national organization in AYC. Um, and so of those members, many of them join our Oklahoma membership. And then we also have the Southern Early Childhood Association, which is SICA for short. And we have several members in our state that is a member, that's kind of our regional. And so, all of those um, organizations work together to advocate for early childhood specifically. Early childhood is defined as birth infants through eight years old. And so our program at Southwestern is for, um, serves teachers who are gonna go into the field, usually in public or private schools from pre-K 
age three, three-year-old preschool um, through third grade, actually is early childhood. Some people are like, oh, third grade's early childhood. Mm -hmm. Yes, because mm -hmm. development really is a, it's a vast range. And um, one thing that I know Car Miss Caroline was the importance of developmentally appropriate practices. Mm -hmm. And so when she says, you wanna go look at the places that are doing it right, you wanna talk to the leaders that are doing it right. Um, and so we've gathered this panel of, mm -hmm. of these leaders um, who they are the experts, right? And so we want them to be there to inspire all of the younger directors coming in from child care centers, mm -hmm. from child care settings, or even from like the Department of Human Services. We have Sooner Care in our state. So there's so many different um, resources that families have for early childhood. And we want to just inspire and motivate those leaders because we have to advocate. Um, right now, we're working with some legislation mm -hmm. that is taking some child care funding away from families. And so those are the things that we really need to be present and have that voice in. So we need to, we need to inspire and gather leadership. Mm -hmm. So this leadership symposium hopefully will be inspiring for them, will also motivate them um, and get them involved as advocates in our state. Um, because we want we want to realize that children truly are our future, mm -hmm. and we have to take care of them, and we have to we have to provide for them the way that we need to. So, um, so that's probably the most exciting thing I think about the leadership symposium is that's going to be that opportunity to network mm -hmm. and connect with other leaders. Um, and Southwestern is super excited to be able to um, sponsor it and bring it to campus uh, and bring it to Western Oklahoma for the first time. So we're super excited to be part of that at Southwestern. Mm -hmm. And we'd like to get the word out. You know, many, many times they think, oh, that's just for the teachers that work in the public schools. No, we would love to have all different types of agencies that touch young children's lives up to age eight, so birth to age eight. So, you know, even medical professionals, um, so many times in the early childhood field, we're so busy working with the children that we don't have time to understand that the importance of working together, you know, together our voice could be so much louder and we could, and this is something I've dealt with for many, many, many years. And that's why I'm so excited about a symposium like this that is not just uh, geared toward the teachers of the children. Ab absolutely, we want those teachers there, but we would love to have principals and superintendents and, and people who work with uh, children to birth to age three who have special needs. We have a, a, a um, sooner care, sooner start, sooner start, sooner, sooner start. start. So I said there's, sooner care, but yeah, sooner so start. well, sooner care too. I mean, there's a lot of agencies that work with young children, and so we'd like to get the word out to you know come and let's all brainstorm together about ways that, especially in western oklahoma you know there's so few there's a few there's not many of us out here but we can have a powerful voice if we all work together for children absolutely awesome is yeah. there anything else about the event that you guys wanted to add uh, we just want to invite everybody to come out it is saturday november the 2nd and it's from 8 30 to 3. Um, we will have a panel, we'll have a light breakfast and a lunch that, that'll be provided, um, as well as a breakout session where you can kind of choose what topic you'd like to go um, and, and learn more about. So we just want to invite everybody um, that is, is connected with children zero to eight, um, mm -hmm. and specifically directors of child care centers, um, because we know that that leadership position. I was I was blessed to be a principal here in town at Burton Elementary, which is our early childhood center for years. But um, it's so important that we connect with each other and that we as leaders not only advocate for early childhood, but also inspire and take care of the ch the caregivers and the <laughs> teachers that are that we're leading, right? Mm -hmm. So um, we have to take care of those people. And I have lots of my students at Swasu that work in our childcare um, settings here in town. And um, so so those leadership positions are also important. And it's important that they understand honestly their influence on the people around them and on advocating for our field. Mm -hmm. 
Yeah. So we're, I mean, I'm very excited and I'm hoping that we can um, all get together and see what we can do and, and come with, you know, we, I was just recently at a meeting where I heard that really childcare providing for young children is a part of economic development even. You know, if we want to have the workforce, we're going to need to have some kind of childcare uh, and so really uh, this meeting would be a great place for people that are involved in economic development even to come and and we'll talk together and work together and see what are some things we can do in western oklahoma what are some things that are doing that are going well build on that some new ideas for some new ways to to do that and so um i'm excited and we need to support each other we really do in the early childhood field because traditionally we are um, hard, hard workers and the pay has not ever been all that great. Uh, and so there's a lot of things that we want to look at and address. So the panel uh, consists of, like I said, Ruth Ann, um, Kelly Ramsey, who is right now a national um, uh She's, she's on the national board for NAEYC. Mm -hmm. yes. Jill Soto uh, is going to be there. She's, she's been amazing in working on how to get child care providers to have the best education. So we know that the more education child care providers have, the better care they're able to provide for the children. So Jill will be there. Myself, I'm trying to think who else. Thank I think you. there's, did I hit thank them all? You. Yeah. Yeah. Thank you yeah. And then of course, Ruth Ann. Uh, if nothing else, you just, everyone needs to just come and, and hear Ruth Ann and her Absolutely. many, many stories. And she's just still going strong. <laughs> yeah. That's awesome. Yeah. So we appreciate yeah. uh, this opportunity. Absolutely. To Absolutely. share. So the more the merrier, come on and join us. <laughs> For children. <laughs> awesome. Well, right. Thank you so much for speaking with me, and thank you all for watching.